am Lacon, the show Max reality show is popping up on your screens. You guys should watch it. So, what's it like starring in your very reality show? Uh, it's me just working, living my normal life and having cameras following me around. That's how I see it as. So, when you compare it to how it was in the house, it's totally different. Because this time around, I'm around people I'm 100% I'm comfortable with. And then there's a whole lot of opinions that you're seeing every day about you, about what you've done. And then you have to experience those things. And then there's still cameras following you around. I'm just taking it one day at a time and I'm enjoying myself. It wasn't shooting. It was just cameras following me around, me doing what I would do on a normal day. So when the cameras are not there, whatever you don't see, it's probably the same thing. I'm doing those same things any day. So for me, I feel like the people that were on the show were the people that were able to come on the show. Because I actually still hung out with a lot of other people, but the cameras were, weren't just there to capture it. I did recording with V. That wasn't the only time. I hung out with Lilo. Lilo is my friend. V is my friend. Uh, the other guys on the show, Ozo. Praise. I mean, I actually hung out. Neo couldn't make it. I hung out with Praise Prince Dorothy, who isn't on the show. Nengi isn't on the show. But I actually spent time with these people while we were shooting the show, but there was just not enough time. So for me, it was like both my old friends, I hung out with them, my new friends that I kind of found while I went on the show. It's still the same thing for me, really. It's the same way I would live my life. It's just there's a camera following me around. Two weeks changed me before I even went into the house. At the house, changed me. Now, these things I'm experiencing is changing me. But I feel like the change is actually a form of growth that you have to mold to your goal as a person in life. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to make mistakes. I've, make, I've made mistakes. As a result of these changes, people still look at you some type of way and be like, you're changing. Yeah. I didn't go through all those things to stay the same. I still know what I want to do with my life, with my newfound influence as a person. That's not going to change. The thing is, there's a whole lot happening simultaneously that I feel like for my friends that are part of my team, it's now my team. That was why there was one time I had to buzz DC and I'm like, guy, come, let's chill, let's talk. Don't come and meet me and say, oh, you have this thing by five, you have this thing. No, let's just chill and talk. Ah, uh, what's popping? Uh, same thing, I called Brainy up, I called Scar up. I said, let's talk, not any other. Don't ask me about anything, let's just talk. See, the truth is this, there's a whole lot going on that even the things that you want to talk about kind of get linked up with work and everything. But that's, that's what I'm saying is you don't go through all those things that I went through to come and still continue the same routine that you used to do before then. So it's understandable. Like what, I, what I always say is when this kind of thing, it's positive change, it's positive it's a positive thing happening. Don't pray for it to stop. Don't say, ah, I want to catch a break. No, learn how to adjust to it because it's, go it's going to get bigger. That's the goal. The goal is for it to get bigger than this, for us to, to be on a bigger platform, for us to have more expectations from people. It's seeming like we're trying to adjust. We are actually adjusting, but we're actually quick. And it's, it's wonderful seeing a whole lot of these things happening and people the mistake they made in October, you don't see them doing the same thing in December. That's growth and that's positive growth. So yeah, I'm still looking forward to more. The one thing I never thought was you're going to win the Big Brother thing. So there's no, there was no future plan for this. You're going to have it. No, there was no. So I feel like it's the one thing that I'm happy that I'm going through without having thought about it because because sometimes yeah when you think about things a lot and you, you think about the possible scenarios when they happen they don't really shock you like that they are just like oh you start to find a way to adjust but this one I'm actually experiencing it firsthand and uh, while it's <laughs> 
it is still enjoyable it's still an experience that not everybody gets to experience ever since i stepped into the house i've never been alone for 12 hours so and for somebody like me who actually when i'm alone i do a lot of sit down and create like 20 scenarios and just look for the way to move forward so i haven't been able to play my my mind thing that i do by myself in a long while because there's a lot to do i'm not saying they should stop i'm just saying i would adjust so that's that's the way it's been for me and i haven't been able to read as much as i used to i still read but not the way i used to before so those are the things i kind of miss they can't wake up with uh with with different ideas of what he's supposed to do and how he's supposed to go about it, how not to waste time with things, how to make sure he achieves, uh, he achieves most of everything that he has to achieve that day. And yeah, he also wakes up knowing that almost some people feel no allow the thing go the way we're supposed to go. And some people can actually influence it in a negative way, but you just have to make sure that regardless, the day is productive for everybody. And everybody has to play a role in making sure the day is productive. So that's just it. I see people, when people say this or that, I experience it, I say it. I, I let myself understand their perspective and I still do not let it affect what I want to do for myself. Because truth is, I've never actually seen <laughs> a situation where any guy would go and meet the fans or the people and say, ah, you guys should stop doing this. And they, they will not stop. It's, I mean, they care about you. That's why they do some of the things they do. But still, regardless, it's just find a way to make sure that you are you and you let yourself and whatever it is you want to do continue to be the reason or the motivation for what you're doing. But I really don't know when I'm going to pat myself at the back. I mean, I've got a goal as a human being and I've got a goal as an artist and I've got a goal as a son. I've got a goal as a brother. I've got a goal as a friend. So, I mean, in different scenarios. I pat myself at the back when I graduated from the University of Lagos. I pat myself at the back when I saw myself on MTV based top 10 charts. I pat myself at the back when I got signed. I pat myself at the back when I got a scholarship, but I lost it. I pat myself at the back when I finished my NYSE. I pat myself at the back when I got into the Big Brother house. I pat myself at the back when I won the Big Brother. But you see that it's a continuous process. So it's not like for every of your achievements, you do not say you've done something. You've done something huge because not everybody has gotten to that stage ever. You're one of the few or you're one of the many. Regardless, there's a billion other people that haven't done it that would not do it. So I still feel like for every achievement or for everything that brings me joy and happiness that I do, that I know that I did this thing with my heart and it's gotten me to where I'm at and I'm happy, I pat myself at the back every time. That's the thing, that's the crazy thing. For these things that happen, the music also helps. I talk about everything. I talk about it with music. Music is therapeutic, I think everybody should know that. So it's like, that's where I can do everything I want to do by myself, all by myself, all for myself. So that I would not. I mean, the difference between me here and me before was what the me before I had to go through, which a lot of people would not go through. For me personally, I feel like everybody around me, they know who I am. And they know how I think, per se. They know my line of thought to anything that happens and how I feel is the possible best way to go about it without affecting people negatively. I feel like they know everything I would do in that aspect. That's why it seems like when I was in the house and while they were out there, everything we were doing was kind of coercive. I feel like these people are ready to go the mile with me, for me. And so it's important that you actually have the people who support you for you, who love you, and who understand what you want for yourself and try to make, to make sure that it happens. When you see yourself, like the goal that you have for yourself, if it's uh, as, as an artist, billboards, stepping on stage, people screaming your names, not everybody will get to 
experience that as an artist. But you live your life as an artist and you don't experience that, does it mean you failed as an artist? You understand me? Yeah? If you can change lives with your music and still you don't get to a level where people are screaming your names when you're standing on stage, it doesn't mean you feel that as an artist, because for me it's the process. Also, this is the jack. If you actually fall in love with that process, those things that you are meant to do as an artist, which anybody who is an artist would have to do, you would have to create music. You would have to perform, whether a big stage or a small stage. You have to do all these things. The, the process of thinking of the right beat, the right music, the right lyrics, the right word. If you say, when I see myself as an artist, this is what I see then you would always do these things every time and you never get tired of it. Once you know that this process is a continuous process, that's the process of recording, the process of looking for the right song and blah, 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 and all those things, it's a continuous process that even Beyonce does. It's something any artist would always do. Then, my guy, that's what you should think of. That's what, you sh that's what should drive and motivate you. You also do not get frustrated because you know that you're actually doing the real thing that makes you an artist. I just wanted to talk to my mom. I just wanted to talk to my mom. I just wanted to talk to my fam. I just wanted to um, call them up, see how they're doing. I mean, definitely, I'm a project person. I like putting out projects, so I'll be putting out an EP 2021, an album 2021. That's, this one is standard, it's not even. And then, any other surprises you guys will get. Yeah, at the moment, oh, at the moment. I mean, see, there's a lot that I feel like I'm still going to watch uh, on Showmax. I mean, I'll watch my show on Showmax. So. But right now, I'm watching Suits and Game of Thrones. Suits, I'm rewatching because I learned a lot from that show. And then Game of Thrones because, come on, man, it's Game of Thrones. First off, the thing with, the thing with shows is you see things that have been chopped up for you to see. That's all. Including Big Brother, including I Am Lecon. But just know this: I'm always myself, 100%. I make mistakes, I learn from them, I grow from them. I have fun with people I'm comfortable around. I my first impressions are shitty. <laughs> so I'm misunderstood, I'm complicated. I'm still that guy. I, I feel like there's there's an evolution from me on the show and you guys will see it. What up icons? I'll go by the name, you know who I am. Um so I am Lake Con, the show Max reality show is popping up on your screens. You guys should watch it. You guys should enjoy, you guys should learn things about me. Be open minded about this because trust me <laughs> it's a whole lot of things put together and you guys are going to experience it the same way. I know you guys will have mixed feelings about this whole thing, but you guys will enjoy it. That's, that's all I want you guys to know. Bear in mind, it's 100% real, no fiction.